These were just some of the few chants shouted by around 500 people. The protest march against Persaini fishing that took place last Friday afternoon was made up of a diverse group of people, which ranged from concerned local residents from both Rarotonga and the Pa'inua, local youth groups and local fishermen. Well, first of all, I knew that there was about 183 t-shirts, um, you know, pieces of clothing that had been printed by Ani O'Neill. Thank you, Ani. And um, so I thought, well, in my mind I was thinking if we got 200 or you know, 300, that would be awesome, people. I was totally blown away when, you know, when we started marching, um, I was near the front. And apologies to everyone because I started too early. That was me being too enthusiastic. <laughs> and I didn't want to hold the police up, you know, because they were, um, They've been great to us, the police have been really supportive and I didn't want to sort of hold them up on their job either so I started off, I didn't have a watch on and a little early, I turned around a wee bit down the track and I realised there's this huge line of people way more than 200 and in fact at one point I ran down to the bus because there were some people in the bus who couldn't walk the whole way and um, thanks to Rehab for providing that as well and letting us dress it up and they just had to slow down if anyone waved and he'd pick them up. So I counted from there through, I got nearly to the front, I got up to 480 and then I had to run off and do a wee job. Um, so I was nearly at the front and there were some joining in near the end like I know, like my mum and sister, some who'd come from the airport were just joining in. So I think it's safe to say about 500 people. The protest march was organised by a grassroots movement an organiser of the Ban Persini fishing campaign were overwhelmed with the support and turnout of the people on the day. Okay, do the license not a person is so Yaguna a Kaidia Maitia a it's not a Harera to a Chicana idea, the Akakoro not a person is Kia Erua to the Akimu a Penny Idokumano Penny a Kita Mangarati get a common year. Yeah, okay, what do you get a license you would you that the eight at Korea a Tamikitim to the あ、これだけでいいです。これを食べていきてるね。え、手を、手を食べていきてるね。え、軽く手を取ってるのが取っていいわ。え、プラカと、トマトを食べたら、彼らといてを食べかい。ま、エルメラを食べたといて、いて、
uh, banned per training because they save it for their people. I think that is a good thing. That is what uh, one of follow Tahiti. They don't allow per training in uh, French Polynesia. They look after their own people first. So why can't we do that here in the Cook Islands? Aloe, Manga, you are one of the kids that are going to do point there. Did the day, the rule, second point from our fishing club and the Avana fish net knitting team, not outside the reef, inside. We are not bankrupt. We don't need to give away juvenile fish instead of giving them away when they are one or two kilo. Wait, we wait two years and they will be 10 kilo. Why not? Give them a big hand for that, there. good point there. And uh, we have uh, another one. Government is getting money for tomorrow's fish. It is our children, our grandchildren, who will remember us for giving their heritage away in return for a plate of beans, lentils. What do you think? No, no. So, I'm asking our Minister of uh, Marine, please, your people first. We put you up there, you listen to us, please. That's why you are there. What I do? I came back here, 1987. I've been here since then fishing. And those years, year by year, day by day, I see the decline of the fish in our waters. So today, this is the right thing to do, to stop this kind of fishing in our waters for our future. Please, like Mokosi, the Minister of Marine, brother, stop presenting in our waters. Ban it forever. Moko said, why can't we do it like Tahiti? I'm saying, let's do it today. Stop it. Don't go what Tahiti is doing, let's do it. Ban it forever. My kids will see the big tuna, 20 kilo, 30 kilo today. If they allow this kind of fishing in our ocean, they won't see their kids, and their kids' kids won't see any more of this fish in our ocean. Please, come and listen to our cry. Listen to the people. Stella Neal of Palmerston Island is also concerned with the lack of fish now caught in the northern group, especially since they are so isolated and rely heavily on natural resources such as fish. I'm speaking, but not for the island, but off from being from the island of Palmerston Island and a little ways as well. Fan per se fishing. We're seeing the fishes decline in incredible numbers. 20 years ago, you could go out for an hour and come back with 10. Today, you go out for an hour and come back with nothing. It's incredible, the change in the last 10 years that I've been there and back and forth. Even in the Northern Group in Swara when I was there in 2008, the fish was even less there. So let's put our voices to the government. There is another side of the story. The story isn't just about per se fishing, it's about the government taking our resources and giving it to somebody else and we don't see the benefit of what they're taking. We don't see the benefit of it. Even if it is going into, into government coffers, where is the benefit of it for the little person? I say ban per se fishing. Keep the northern group who relies on fishing for their livelihood because you don't want to pay the freight we have to pay to get food up there. And if you take our fish away, what are we going to eat? Ban it. Ban it, ban it, ban it. 
To be sure, who was a part of the successful Grey Power movement had further encouraging words and put an emphasis on a new form of power, being the people's power. There's a new name now instead of the Grey Power. The people's power. Yes. You've seen what we did. Look at the singlet here. The Grey Power told the government it's wrong, 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 and at the end, what happened? They bowed down and pay us back. But they're still chasing us. But nevertheless, you've seen in the newspaper today, we're not going to give up. They have to give up. We put them there. We all put them there. If we don't like it, out. So our new name today, if it is all agreed by all of us, the people's power will tell the government, back out. The Ban Proseni fishing campaign will continue to spread the word on their cause and are now pushing for their story to reach a regional scale. In order for a larger regional movement to occur, organisers would also like to remind the public that a petition against Proseni fishing is currently in circulation around the island. <laughs> Stop persuading! Bring the beer! Stop persuading! Oh, that's it.